بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حرمت عليكم الميتة والدم ولحم الخنزير وما أهل لغير الله به والمنخنقة والموقودة والمتردية والنطيحة وما أكل السبع إلا ما ذكيتم وما ذبح على النصب وأن تستقسموا بالأزلام ذلكم فسق اليوم يئس الذين كفروا من دينكم فلا تخشوهم واخشون اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا فمن اضطر في مخمصة غير متجانف لإثم فإن الله غفور رحيم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses all human beings in the Holy Quran by saying, O mankind, eat of that which is permissible and a good on earth. Thus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to all the people on this globe, calling on them to eat of the good thing which he has provided for them. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed the believers in particular, saying, O oh, you who believe, eat of the good thing that we have provided for you, and be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it is He alone whom you worship, indeed, what He has forbidden to you is the flesh of dead animals and the blood and the flesh of swine and at that which has been sacrificed to anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but if, is, if one is forced by necessity without willful disobedience no transgressing due limit then there is no sin on him indeed your Lord is oft forgiving most merciful. Islam is the world's second largest religion and also the fastest growing, both globally and in the US. An estimated one million Muslims live in Canada. There are approximately nine million Muslims in the United States and the worldwide Muslim population is over 1.4 billion. The US Muslim population will be 12.2 million in the year 2018. 1 1.5 billion Muslims around the world consume halal food. It is the religious obligation of every Muslim to consume only halal foods. The buying power of Muslims around the world for halal food trade is estimated to be over $150 billion per year. The buying power of US Muslim food consumers alone is estimated to be over $12 billion. Vegetarian food is not always halal, as some preparations may include alcohol or some other products which are not halal to be consumed by a Muslim. Halal in Arabic means that which is lawful in Islam. And certainly, we have animals such as cows, sheep, goats, deer, moose, chickens, ducks, game birds, etc., which are also halal, but they must be zabiya, slaughtered according to Islamic rites, in order to be suitable for consumption. Among the most notable countries which supply the zabiha meat to all parts of the world, the prominent and the most widely accepted supplier of meat is New Zealand, which is known for its dairy and meat and poultry export. New Zealand supplies its meat products and dairy to a number of Muslim and non-Muslim countries. To check the 
authenticity and to certify the halal products being exported or consumed in the local and international market, FIANS, the Federation of Islamic Associations of New Zealand, has taken upon itself the responsibility to see that all Islamic values are preserved and the highest quality is maintained. FIANS uh, was established as an incorporated society in 1979, established under government rules and regulations so that we can uh, act according to the laws of New Zealand. It's a national umbrella organization of Muslims in New Zealand. There, in the initial formation, we had seven regional Muslim associations who formed federation. It is the representatives of the local associations who come and become fiance. Fiance itself doesn't have anything. It's just a, a collection of people from various representative organizations. It is recognized nationally and internationally. Uh, the initial organizations that formed the federation in 1979 were Auckland, since then it's been joined by South Auckland, Hamilton, Palmerston North, Wellington, Christchurch and Dunedin. We have some objectives and the objectives are to represent the voice of Muslims in New Zealand, to establish resources for religious and social needs of Muslims, to undertake dawa, educational, sporting and welfare projects, to strengthen unity amongst Muslims, to foster good relationship between Muslims and non-Muslims living in New Zealand, and to become economically self-sufficient. The Federation of Islamic Associations of New Zealand President Mohammed Zawad Iqbal Khan, better known as Javed Khan, has been the voice of reason and poise on behalf of New Zealand Muslims in a time of outrage for them and the peril for meat exports to the Middle East. His work in the community as President of the Federation of Islamic Associations of New Zealand is recognised with the award of the Queen's Service Medal. It is indeed a historic occasion for both the Federation and for South Auckland Muslim Association to have the privilege of the presence of the Prime Minister amongst us. At the same time, it has given us the opportunity to showcase to the Prime Minister our magnificent Al Mustafa Masjid, which is the newest mosque built in New Zealand. Fiance has played a central role in protecting and advancing the interest of the Muslim community in New Zealand. This would not have been possible without the support and encouragement of the government of New Zealand. Javed Khan is a lawyer for New Zealand Post. The role of the president in Fianz is highly challenging and very res responsible. It is a, a voluntary uh, position uh, and you have to sacrifice most of your uh, spare time for the organization. Since my assumption of the president's post, I have made some a good start to the towards the unity of the other individual Islamic trusts and groups uh, within New Zealand. There has been some success in this area. However, more work is uh, needed to bring about the desired unity amongst the Muslim community in New Zealand. This is the second time the Federation of Islamic Association of New Zealand has successfully officially launched Islam Awareness Week. We used to have this uh, Awareness Week uh, on, on a, uh, not the official basis, but we used to have, but it was a bit disjointed. But Alhamdulillah, over the last two years, it is much more organized 
and um, and um, I think the fruit of that uh, effort is seen with so many of you present here. We have also enhanced our contacts with the New Zealand government and the diplomatic communities in New Zealand. There has been tremendous success in the halal certification aspect of the Federation. We have increased our monitoring role in the meat industry and much headway has been made in our halal certification. The Federation uh, effectively controls all certified meat in New Zealand. Um, most of the people are now aware of FIANS, uh, what FIANS stands for, uh, and it stands for sincerity, integrity, dedication, and community orientation. In essence, we have raised the profile of the organization both nationally and internationally. FIANS halal certification of meat export started as a religious obligation. However, the first country that fully recognized FIAN certification process was Kuwait in 1984. This led the way for United Arab Emirates to accept FIAN certification in 1985. A year later, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia authorized FIANS to be their sole certifier. Thereafter, halal certification for Malaysia began. These countries trust the uncompromising standard maintained by FIANS in its certifying procedure. Today, most of the countries throughout the world recognize FIANS as halal certifier of meat for meat exported overseas. And um, that clearly shows that the Federation has credibility of its halal meat throughout the world, both in Islamic countries as well as non-Islamic countries. FIANS's objectives include to establish and maintain the highest standard of Islamic practice in accordance with the teachings of the Holy Quran and Sunnah, to undertake dawah, education, welfare and other Islamic activities, to strengthen Islamic unity and assist in the development of the Muslim community of New Zealand. To establish and foster good relationships with Muslim countries and international Muslim organisations and institutions. Promote and explain the message of Islam to the wider New Zealand community. I also want to acknowledge and thank the Federation of Islamic Associations for all the work you've done to build better understanding uh, between the Muslim communities of New Zealand and our other uh, communities. And as we all know, one of the most distinctive things we can say uh, about New Zealand society is that we're increasingly diverse, but we've always been diverse. This is a country which has been built on successive waves of migration going back a thousand years to when the great canoes sailed down from Polynesia uh, through the <coughs> exploration period, the colonial settlement uh, period, and people keep coming to this day and always will. That's the kind of country New Zealand is. And of course, the first uh, Muslim New Zealanders uh, came uh, back in the gold rush of the mid-19th century. FIANS works very closely with the Meat Industry Association in providing the halal certification service. The meat companies who are members of the Meat Industry Association have their own arrangements to procure sheep and cattle livestock for slaughter. The individual meat companies' slaughter plants are constructed as per advice by FIANS, especially ensuring that the slaughter area faces Makkah so that sheep and beef are made to face Makkah before slaughter. As soon as the sheep or the cattle are slaughtered by the halal slaughtermen, they are sent through the chain for processing. 
The entire operation is monitored by the fiance supervisor during his random checks. An important thing to note is that all fiance supervised plants are 100% halal. And the halal certification is carefully monitored by a committee called Halal Committee, comprising the chairman of the Ulama board, the president of the federation, and the chairman of the food technology, and also the office uh, administration here. First and foremostly, the animal should be alive at the time of slaughter. Then a pre-slaughter treatment such as stunning must not result in the death of the animal before it is slaughtered. If death occurs, then the animal is not considered halal and it will be segregated. Stunned animal, if not slaughtered, it must be able to make full recovery. Allah's name, the tasmiya and takbir, must be mentioned by the Muslim slaughterman at the time of slaughter. Uh, Abdurrahman Musa Muhammad. I am halal slaughterman. Animals should be slaughtered by one stroke using a very sharp knife. The head should not be severed from the neck during the slaughter. My name is Abu Salamad Ali and I'm from Fiji. First of all, we see that the animal is alive, it is in a good condition. The animal which we can eat, that's the animal will make it a halal so that it goes to any other Muslim brother, they can also eat it. And we kill it by saying the name of Allah. Bismillah, Allah, Akbar. The skinning of the animal is not allowed to commence before the animal is completely dead. The Federation of the Islamic Association of New Zealand is the only halal certifying organization based on the community basis in New Zealand and it is only done professionally and with all supporting structures. halal abattoirs in New Zealand annually our supervisors we have two supervisors in South Island based in South Island and two supervisors based in North Islands these supervisors randomly checks the halal slaughter plants and while they're at the plant they visit the process they have interview with the slaughterman and they also talks to the management to ensure that the operation is going on smoothly they check the records they ensure that everything is halal integrity with federation of islamic association of new zealand which is fians uh, i look after north island all their halal uh, process in north island uh, i look after them uh, basically what we do is uh, we make sure that uh, we visit every fortnight each plant to make sure that their process are acceptable and are according to the requirements uh, that is uh, set by uh, FIANS, which is Islamically. Um, we send, we check right from the slaughtering up to the end to make sure that all the process are okay and we send a report every fortnightly to FIANS to, uh, to report back to them of the process. We have a very good relationship with the, with, the, with the process and the meat plant works, the managers, uh, as well as the halal settlements. We have a discussion, we have a fortnightly visit. We do a lot of uh, uh, work together with the slaughterman to make sure that the process are acceptable. And these are all sent to fiance for their uh, consideration. We process about, about 650 cattle a day here, and we process them all to um, the halal requirements. Um, so they're suitable for um, uh, halal markets. 
and uh, we process about 100,000 cattle a year. So that, that gives us, um, well, through Fianz, it gives us the opportunity to export all of our products to the many, many Muslim countries throughout the world. And um, also, um, Fianz work with us to open up the doors of other markets um, that we're not currently involved in. The non-halal carcasses are properly labelled, they are carefully stored and boned separately. Pretty non-halal beef that is done um, separate from all the other animals, just so that uh, to ensure that it's not mixed with the halal animals. There is no way a contamination can take place because at all times when there is a non-halal carcass, one halal slaughterman will follow the carcass all the way until it is stored separately. In case of chicken, ducks and bird slaughter, using a rotary mechanical blade, there must be three Muslim slaughtermen present. One slaughterman touching the birds physically before they go into the rotary cutting blade, reciting the name of Allah. And two Muslim slaughtermen are to slaughter the birds that were missed by the blade. Reciting name of Allah is compulsory. The gap between the reciting must not be too long. The halal slaughter must be swift and complete. Being a small community, far removed in terms of distance from the rest of the Muslim world, New Zealand Muslims have developed a strong and committed community dedicated to following the straight path towards success. That's got all its ingredients in and, and mixed thoroughly, it'll go into the sausage filling machine. Again, all the ingredients are checked to make sure they are suitable for halal. Mahmoud Hassan. I'm slaughter man for Halal Slaughter. We go to a lot of lengths to make sure all the ingredients we use in our further processing is approved as well. Uh, we take great pride in, in being 100% Halal and have a good relationship with our uh, Halal slaughtermen. The authority we use is Fianz and they're based in Wellington, New Zealand. Slaughtermen are all Muslims. Uh, the majority of them come from Somalia. Um, and Abdul has been with us for four years. Uh, he's our chief sortiment. Oh, the apple is safe, it's edible. Before the uh, scales and grating. The most resources system, and once the once the carcass is entered entered into the system here, um, it goes into stock and inventory, which can be followed.
besides that being that pass inspection. Hundred percent of our animals are uh, slaughtered halal. Uh, we process approximately up to 2,900 lambs a day and 200 beef a day. Although that is at capacity, we're not obviously always doing that. And as I say, they are all 100% halal, barring problems. The beef side, it's up to 200, but it depends. Sometimes the stocks are less. We have early day. And sometimes when the animals are short, we can do up to 210. And on the sheep side, before we, we used to do about 1500, 1600. Now they put some more focus over there and they speed up the chain, 6.2. So we can do up to 2700, 2800 per day. And we are only doing one shift, day shift. We obviously recognise that uh, we produce a lot of meat and we'd like uh, access to as many markets as possible. Obviously the uh, halal market is a uh, large market around the world and we, we uh, felt we had to get into there to be competitive with everyone else. The opportunities have been excellent in that it's given us the wider contact through Fians itself and um, obviously the options to be able to give us a wider scope in the markets. With where we are at the moment in terms of uh, countries we're supplying, people we're supplying, products we're supplying, um, we've obviously needed Fianza's help to uh, do that. We couldn't do that without their help. So uh, I think it's been a, uh, a union of two companies, that's, or two people, bodies, that's uh, been helpful for both, hopefully. Okay, so how many countries your products uh, could... Um, Right throughout Asia, uh, we're starting to do some Africa, Middle East, uh, EU, uh, North America, Canada, basically uh, picking up bits and pieces all around the world now. Certainly given us better opportunities than what we had in the past um, prior to that association. Very happy with the way things are going. We get our regular visits from the supervisor. Uh, if there's any issues, and we don't seem to have many, uh, then we just correct them and move on. So, and we get certification in timely manner, so that's, that's helpful for us. It's been important to our business for growth. Without Hala, we've been unable to export to the Muslim community, which has increased our business by 30% in exports. We have two FIANS certified Muslim halal slaughtermen on each shift and we also have backups available if required as well. So our plants, Fian certified halal plants, are 100% halal. Beside certifying raw meat, we also certify halal cooked food or halal premises for prepared meals. For that, our supervisors are also sent to these premises to check on the halal ingredients and halal products used in uh, cooking and in preparing halal meals. Fians undertakes a successful and cost-effective management of halal certification services. There's no disruption to meat production in slaughter meat companies supervised by Fians. Annually, New Zealand is exporting about 200 to 300 million dollars worth of halal meat to the Muslim market and it is increasing annually. As Governor General of New Zealand, I have a responsibility to work closely with all parts of our New Zealand society, of which our Muslim community is an important part. Islam, in my view, has much to offer in building New Zealand's national identity. The challenge for the Federation of Islamic Associations of New Zealand is, may I suggest, twofold. It is to continue building strong Islam communities from within, whilst at the same time using that cohesion and strength to contribute to the developing sense of what it means to be a New Zealander today. The realisation came that we could do this service and give a real halal meat to our uh, Muslim uh, communities overseas. Uh, 
towards this end, uh, we had discussions with the then meat board and eventually it was Kuwait who forced uh, their hand and um, made them accept our certification. Our certification simply because we are a religious body, we are not a commercial organization and as much as we conduct weddings, nikah, and we, uh, we bury people, we, when they're born we say a prayer for them, we run masjids and centers and we lead, organize uh, prayer, salat for people, so we perform religious functions and we thought that the performing or monitoring or supervising of the halal process was a religious requirement, not a commercial ent enterprise. So we entered, entered that sphere purely as a service to our, our community within New Zealand and overseas. Today, Fian certifies about 90% of the meat exports from New Zealand as halal to overseas countries. The remaining 10% is handled by a commercial certifier. But we are confident that soon, Fians would be able to capture the 100% market to provide halal certification service. The total number of certificates issued by Fians number around 9,000 annually. Fians halal certification is fully recognized by all Muslim countries in the Organization of Islamic Conference, OIC, and Muslim organizations throughout the world, with 45 countries recognizing Fian certification. With Fian stepping into the scheme of things ever since its inception two and a half decades ago, it has propelled New Zealand to assume globally number one position in halal meat exports. Thanks to Fian's, New Zealand is also home to the world's largest slaughterhouses spread all over the country. Over the last 27 years, Fian's has been successful in achieving its goals. It has become the national organisation in bringing solidarity among the Muslim Ummah of New Zealand, thus for fulfilling its local and global obligations.